So for today, we're going to be doing something that has definitely been long awaited for this series ever since getting it on a server and not just being a single player, even though it's very important as a single player, I feel like now is even more important that we have multiple people and everything on the server. We're still growing, not new people all the time. So I think this is something we need to really, really focus on and get this done, working, operational for the future, make everything so much easier to do instead of trying to rummage through some multi item soldiers and stuff at the base, get some items that we need. This will have more than just storage and also some other quality of life things. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna do a perimeter here for a main storage complex, you can call it something like that. So yeah, basically what we're gonna do is gonna make a pull perimeter, we're going to have uh, our main storage that Dazi and I kind of worked on. Dazi got the main layout and everything. I just added some of the decoration from the, our old uh, V1 color palette that I like. I like the wood theme more than in like a all that quartz or gray concrete. I like more of the wood. I think that's it goes better with the chest and everything. It feels underused to me, so I kind of use that as much as I can. But uh, yeah, so we're going to try to do that today. We're going to need a perimeter first, so we'll go do that. And then we can go from there. So get the perimeter done. And obviously we need to do a piston bolt and all those things in the nether, but we can do that later. But yeah, see this perimeter, and we'll get on to them for today. Alright, so a bit of time has passed now, and we have our perimeter completely cleared out. And you can see we have our uh, floor decoration in. We've got the map here. You can see it's the autocraft uh, banner that we use, or that I use. I had made design and everything. But uh, yeah, so we have uh, about, I think it's 10 or 12 players uh, skins here that have been on the server. So Happy, Dazi, Peach, uh, Mindo, Talia, Alex, me, Jake, Zeno, Smoko, and Rim at the bottom here. And uh, yeah, and then we have the Autocraft uh, banner or the thumbnail with the heart that you see in every single uh, thumbnail with the border and everything like that kind of just nab that and put it on here and then we have a bit of a fade but the fade doesn't really work in minecraft all too well because you don't have too many of the same iteration of colors in a sense to try and do this but i think it's okay i mean the farther you're out obviously the better it looks and you're zoomed in you can see every single block and stuff but i think it does look very very nice for our uh, use case here so when you do some walls and everything uh, a bit later those are still being designed but we have one of our uh, segments of this storage here. This is a mass crafter. Uh, so this will be used for if we need a bunch of something really quickly and we don't want to wait for the auto crafters because auto crafters are kind of slow. They're only really useful uh, if you need to go away and you don't want to actually you know be here. But with this uh, crafter here, we can do it much quicker than any other uh, auto crafter can do. All right, so we're going to craft some hoppers. The reason why we're doing this is because we need uh let's see at the schematic here so we need about nine thousand hoppers and with our my hopper crafter over at the uh auto crafting triangle that will take quite some time and i'm going to basically craft all of the redstone components that are about over two shulker boxes i would say uh at here obviously pistons we already have a piston factory for that we don't need to do that but everything else that's kind of you know over two shulker boxes we'll probably craft here just to say, try to save some time but uh, yeah, so let's check this out. We're gonna have mass craft on the hoppers here. This is a uh, Andrew's uh, item scroller add-on that we can just basically use a hotkey, which is, uh, I think it's MH for me. Yep. And you can see that it's kind of just flash instead of me having to craft or hit Control Alt C all the time. So we'll just do it automatically. So we'll do that. And we're going to uh, stand right here, I think. Look at the table. We should start to see some items come to us. Uh, all right, so we're thinking it's a user error here. So this one, I think, is the one that unlocks it and sends the items up like that. All right, so I think we got to wait for these guys to all get to their location and then get situated into the droppers. So we should see that these barrels are empty now. If you never used these one, one of these before, basically this is the three by three grid of the crafting table here. So top left is top left when you're facing this and you go across like that. And then what we're doing now is we're doing chests. So we need to do everything but the center one. I think I didn't put it six shulker boxes. So we should in the end get six shulker boxes of chests. 
So then we've waited enough time for all those boxes to get into their desired location. Uh, we need to select the chest here. We'll click that lever on. I think I can get into free cam and do this. All right, the chest selected here. And we should start to see some items right here. Once the clock, there we go, goes now. Now we should just get dispense everything in a sequence here. We break the shortcut box with the blue with the flame. And then with chest, obviously you can't really mess this up because it's all the same material. And all we need to do is hit Control Alt C. And then we're just gonna, I'm just going to manually do it since for some reason when I do the hold, it basically stops the server from ticking. For some reason, I don't know what that is. I'm going to try to figure that out. I'll try to talk to Andrews if I can, but uh, basically it just stops the server from ticking at all. I don't know if the server, I mean, the server could definitely handle it. It has eight gigs of RAM dedicated to it. It has a 10th gen i5 processor. It has an M.2 SSD. So I don't know what exactly the issue is. So we'll have to try to find out if possible why that is. But yeah, you can see all we do is hit Control Alt C, which is the uh, default hotkey for Masscraft, and then you can see the uh, the chests kind of on the right side of the screen by that target block there. The chests are coming down, and then on the left side here with all those jack lanterns and honey blocks, that is all just for shulker box loading. So obviously, for some more recipes where you get multiple outputs, um, these would obviously use more. And obviously the longer you use it, the more boxes or the shulker box loaders you'll need because some of them will get backed up and stuff. But we should be almost done here. We've got one or two more sets to do. And then in the end, we'll have uh, six sh shulker boxes filled with chests. And very quick succession, definitely faster than any uh, auto crafter could do. Obviously if you had a full factory of the auto crafters, I don't know but you would need to do a lot for this to beat or for to beat this with an auto crafting machine because this will, this will, this will easily craft more than 64,000 pistons an hour which my current factory does obviously it's not too big of a scale but it's still decently in size but all I need to do here is just control alt c and I think we're good now yep no more coming out and then obviously we need to wait for all these shulker box um, loaders to fill up which doesn't you can't really speed that up you can only speed up the unload process with the 117 feature where if you break a shulker box with the flame lava bucket or stuff like that it will dispense all of its contents out immediately but you do however lose a shulker box so obviously if you don't want that and you won't do that uh, these chests here are from crafted manually but you can see we're getting some full shulker boxes right now and we should get six. We'll get look at the partial fill boxes uh, in a little bit, but we're gonna lock this back up so that we can input more items we need. I think we're gonna do, to do repeaters and comparators next, and then the rest we will just manually craft because it's under a shulker box or two. So obviously torches, you really don't need to use this system for. I mean, you can. And it, it's a basically a universal crafter, so it can be used for, I believe, pretty much anything. But uh, yeah, so a couple more things to do. Repeaters, comparators, and I think we might do sticky pistons, we might do droppers, I don't know. We'll see, um, but this will definitely be used quite a bit. Obviously the downside is we do lose shulker boxes compared to regular auto crafters where you don't lose shulker box, it gets recycled to you. The downside is it's obviously a lot slower, so we'll need to wait for that. But it is a working system. This is a user error by us. Uh, not giving up enough time or not knowing how to use the system properly, but now that I know how to do it, you put this lever down to uh, send the items off, which basically unlocks the hoppers down here, and then re enable it to unlock the hoppers. Then, once you're ready to craft and give it a few time, a little bit of time to get all the boxes up there, then you can turn the system on with the hopper clock and this lever here, and then you're good to go to craft anything you want. All right, so we use the crafter quite a bit here, it does work reliably. Uh, the only thing I will say, because we have stackable shulker boxes, the shulker box is getting returned unless we have the full, I think it's like 22 dispensers and 22 droppers filled with shulker boxes, which is nine stacks each with our case. Uh, that doesn't really work too well, 
because obviously it starts on the right side here and then work its way all the way around to those. Uh, that's something I would change for us, for our case. I'll start on this side over here, fill up, and it doesn't really work too well for our case. But there's should be like close to 100 shulker boxes in each one of the fillers, so it can run for quite some time. But uh, yeah, we have pretty much the majority of the items for the storage here, besides all of the items we need to get for each individual block and stuff, for the filters and everything like that. So we should be able to start building the storage now. And we can go from there. I do have the regular green slime for right now. Uh, just so the deco doesn't look weird because uh, Rim's skin has slime in it and then uh, some other things have slime. So it would look quite weird if I had the green, uh, the blue slime that I use all the time because it would just mess up everything there. Uh, but yeah, so time to build the massive storage. It's like 125,000 blocks uh, plus all the filters and blocks we had to get for the item frames and stuff like that. So it's gonna take some time, but it's gonna be 100% worth it. So let's crack on to maybe a time lapse. <laughs>
All right, so the full storage is completely built up. You can see some of the decoration in the back being uh, started working on here. But uh, yeah, so this was actually, besides the crafter, the rest of what you see here was actually built in 12 hours. And basically, Dazi I were here throughout the whole time. You saw the time lapse from it. That time lapse is the full thing. Uh, from start to finish, we basically, Dazi and I did the whole thing. Fred helped a little bit as well. We had a couple of people that came in and helped. Most of the, of the server members came in and helped um, during the building process, obviously, because it was going on the whole day, basically. Uh, but we got the whole thing built up and everything. But uh, at the moment, it's kind of bare bones. I think Dazi yeah, is in the process of uh, setting up everything and filter layouts and all that kind of stuff. So we're are on chest hall number one, I believe. I think chest hall number two is still bare bones. So you can see uh, the blocks where there are the black concrete. That is where there are item frames, or I think the end we don't have some items. I don't know for sure, but, but uh, yeah. So I think the bulk is essentially done with all the items that we'll have in here. I uh, still think we need to do obviously the filters and everything, but it is operational as you can see by some of them being in different states than the other ones. So some of them actually already have stuff inside of them, which we have a shulker box for chests right now at the moment. And obviously, uh, once we get everything all in here, we'll then transfer everything from the regular original main base to here so that this will be our actual base now. I'll explain the storage in a little bit more detail in a bit, but you can see the layout we have here and the wings and stuff. It's pretty similar, or pretty standard, obviously. Two different uh, chest hall wings, a bulk wing, and then some other various things, the crafting station, uh, and stuff like that. But we have to do a lot of work here still. It's chunk loaded mine. I think we're gonna we need to do a chunk loaded mine for the bulk as well. And we might do one for the furnace array. That way we can have that run in if we need to. And not need to worry too much about stuff breaking and stuff. But for now, it's good to go. But uh, so we'll go to the nether side. This will make more sense of the color scheme that we chose uh, in a little bit once you see the walls fully done. But yeah, so uh, honestly, as I said, these colors will basically, I try to choose it around what was actually there, or like the, what's actually built there and stuff like that, or I try to theme it around the mob itself. Here we don't have a mob, we have the storage. And yeah, once that could mix or gets built up, it'll make more sense to you. And then like all my other ones, I try to have a banner to kind of indicate what it goes where. So we have the crafting table there we have the tree here and so on with all of our other various bolts here. But uh, yeah, standard uh, piston bolt. Most of ours are being straight right now. It's just kind of convenient to have it this way. You don't need to turn anyway. And, but sooner or later, we'll run out of space for these straight ones. So we'll have to do a bunch more ones that take a 90 degree turn and stuff like that. But we can do it. It's not bad at all. But onto the decoration here. And hopefully this can get done and you get uh, finished up the sorters and everything. It's going to be the longest part. And then we can finally move in and showcase the full storage off. I'll have a full explanation of everything inside the storage. And we'll be good to go from there. All right. So the full storage is basically all done, functional, and decorated with the uh, perimeter now. So there is one thing I do want to, I plan to add to the storage here. At some point, I want to add a small auto crafting hall for all my two wide auto crafters that I've been make, that I've been developing over the past few months. Um, just so we have at least, you know, the option if you want to not use the mass crafter and only need like a certain, like a shulker box or so of an item, you can just throw it in there instead of having to use the whole mass crafter for just that one shulker box of items. Obviously, the crafters aren't as fast as the mass crafter. It's just your personal preference. For me, I feel like I should add it because auto crafting spends something on part of the server and part of me 
that I've been using for quite quite some time now and making huge improvements, adaptions, and just, you know, starting that whole auto crafting, uh, you know, archive basically of all the redstone components that I've made so far. And even a couple other ones like sea lanterns, full block crafters, um, chests and stuff like that. I've made some crafters for. I even did one for shears, but I need that should definitely be updated. That other one isn't very good, but it does work. That's the only you know, good thing about it. Um, but yeah, so everything is done here. Uh, definitely big shout out to Dazi, our member here, uh, for laying out everything for our storage. The decoration is uh, the wood pellet that I put for the storage here. To me, the uh, quartz and everything just feels a bit overused. So I went with a different uh, kind of palette here instead, and I think it looks, you know, it's definitely different. So that's what I like. Uh, but yeah, there will be a full list in the, in the description about everything in the storage. Um, I will be going over it uh, as we go through and everything, but there will be a full list if you just want to look at the list and all the links and everything will be there down there as well. Uh, there will be Discord uh, channel links. I believe they are all either in the Storage Tech Discord or the TMCA Discord. Both of those invite links will be down there if you aren't in there already, as well as I mean, our AutoCraft uh, invite link as well. So let's go see everything. You saw the storage laid out and everything, but now we have all of the items inside the system here. So we have our concrete, which we moved over for the concrete factory. Uh, for some reason, there isn't powder here, so... Uh, we just didn't include that for some reason. Uh, but yeah, so our bulk has a storage capacity of 1 million items per slice here. And this is the Melon Tech bulk by Sam. And uh, yeah, very, very nice bulk, uh, especially for being one wide tile of bulk. So basically every single chest here uh, has a storage above it of about a million. So any block or frame we'll have that much storage and yeah so we gotta move all the iron here uh, we can't even fit all the iron <laughs> that we have at the iron farm here uh, but yeah so there's still I guess that's some room for items we need to add them uh, if needed but at the current point in time we have everything that we currently have is in here uh, there's still some items that we don't have obtained yet because we don't really need them which just haven't uh, been needed at all but yes yeah, so we have the bulk on the north wing and then on the west and east we have the chest holes chest holes are by krebs uh mostly chosen because of the accessible filter hoppers so if you go on the back here uh, you can see that every single filter is accessible from the water stream which makes it very very easy to set the filters up uh, when actually laying all the items out. Dazi handled all of that, uh, which was, you know, very, very huge help while most of us did the decoration and stuff like that. So Dazi was responsible for pretty much everything in here, not just planning it out in creative, but also mainly all of the stuff in survival as well. As you saw from the time lapse, there was multiple people working to build the foundation of the crafter and Dazi did all of the item and everything, which is very, very cool. So definitely, Big thank you to Dazi. Uh, but yeah, so we have these chest halls uh, with the item layout and everything. So things I use most frequently are here. You will see some of the items are repeated here. So some of the redstone components or, or all the redstone components are repeated in the chest halls here. That's just because we don't put it a full uh, box of uh, items for that into the bulk. The uh, items will then go to the overflow and then we can put it in the regular input uh, right here and then they will go to here which have two uh, double chest of space and for example if we have more of a certain item you put a shulker box uh, manually to give it more space but uh yeah so these are all here uh anywhere you see a black concrete is an item we do not have yet that's actually uh, planned to be there or some spaces, but most of the black concrete like here is just extra space uh, for things that we do not have yet, or we don't, uh, we have like 
items that weren't planned to be there, but we have space for now. And this is also the same for over here as well. This is where our empty box return is. This is the overflow. Uh, here is the bulk input. It also will automatically sort out if it's a fill box or not. And then any bulk overflow or uh, unsorted items will go there. And then yeah, a regular input is right there. And then the other hall is mainly all of the color blocks, dyes, banners, wood types, leaves, saplings, any more wood variants, uh, light sources, stations, and all these other random items uh, that don't get used all too often are towards the back. Some of the things we don't use are obviously towards the back because it takes longer to get there compared to, you know, if we have a wet concrete, we would go here as well. Or if we need a full box, we can then go to the bulk uh, for that. The unstackable sorter here was by Command Leo. And then the multi-item sorter, which we currently do not use, is by Repscallion. Uh, we have a restock station here. I actually don't know who designed this. Uh, we have a, a eight game tech, eight game tech reset craft station by Floppy. Item shadow setup by Jobro. Dazi adapted and made his own uh, Ender Pearl stasis chamber that's linked up to the uh, item shadow, and so we can just throw an item on the ground. If I was actually shadowed. Uh, but currently I've logged out of the server, so that doesn't work anymore for me. Um, but if I were to drop an item, uh, then I would get automatically teleported. And we used to have an uh, area where we have a bunch of bots, and then if we wanted to call ourselves, we would use the bot to click a note block, which would then call us here, but that has since been changed out, and then each person has their own, which just goes, the interpol is actually above, and it just drops down and lands on the block down here. Maybe our bed for uh, spawn, and then this mass crafter is uh, an adaptation of uh, mechanics input. Il Mengo's uh, 117 mass crafter, Glotz's shulker box loader, and it's all working together in one big system here. So what you would do is basically these barrels here are a three by three crafting grid uh, to kind of simulate what the recipe will be. Um, you put your items so if you wanted to craft so you wanted to craft uh, a shulker box of repeaters we put a shulker box of torches uh, this box here dust in here torches and then three stone at the bottom you want to split, split up evenly so that when you're uh, crafting here you would receive them in increments to craft a whole stack of them at once and then with the uh, tweak the tweakeroo for mass crafting by Andrews you can uh, mass craft just by a hotkey and then all of your items will go down there and then packed in the shulker boxes by Glotz's shulker box. And then once all of the uh, shulker box fillers turn off, uh, all the full boxes will become uh, or transported to the player here and then any partial boxes will be uh, put here to where you, the player, would manually fill them up. Uh, if need be, because obviously all the shulker box or the hopper has a cooldown, so not every single item will be picked up by a single shulker box loader. There's about I want to say 22 or so to keep up with some other recipes that produce more. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much the whole area. We do have a uh, furnace array if need be uh, for some small amount of items. It's not shulker box input. Uh, you need to do regular. Uh, stacks of items and this is by Andrews. It's a fully hopper locked system to save on all lag possible uh, When it's not in use as well, you can see our MS even in the main storage is Around 10 on the server and that does include spawn some other um, Mob switches being loaded and stuff like that And yeah, all this is of course is linked up to a chunk loaders above which we'll go see in a second Which is really really cool so yeah, that's basically the whole storage layout here. And then over here will be the crafting hall. We just need to do that, but you can start to see some of the decoration that we have planned. So let's go fly up to one vantage point that I like to see it at. And yeah, this is Don Shaders, by the way. This is just vanilla and it looks absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, some of the uh, floor design does get covered 
by the storage, but from the map view, you can still kind of make out what it is, uh, at least unless you would go down to the bottom and look at it that way. This is very, very amazing decoration by Happy. Um, it really fits the autocraft theme with the fire heart walls and that fade from the orange to the yellow really, really fits in with the autocraft uh, area. And you can kind of see where that heart design kind of came from, from that heart down there. But yeah, overall, this decoration looks amazing and it, uh, you know, fits in very well for the autocraft. So yeah. Uh, that's basically everything done. Uh, like I said, the chunk loading is all up there. We have different ones for different things. We have the item shadow and chunk loader, which is usually always active when the server is up. Then we have a bulk one just for the bulk. And then we have the two uh, uh, chest hall wings linked up to a single chunk loader as well. We're using the black concrete up here. You can't really see it too well, uh, which is something that's good. You only see the slime elevators or the slime uh, wires going up there, uh, but that's not too big of a deal. So yeah, small autocraft link here at some point, we might make a single video on that, designing the hall in, or in creative and then testing it or building it actually in survival. So you can see the whole process that I go through and everything. But yeah, uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, all those sorts of things, and I'll see you in the next one.